Um, my name is Christina Hicks. I'm a professor at Lancaster University. Um, so I teach on human geography degree courses and my research is on fisheries and food security and nutrition. Yeah, I, I'm, I think there are a number of challenges. I think um, there's a need for greater transparency in the issuing of fishing licenses. Currently, um, at least within Senegal, Senegal and with a number of places, um, international fishing isn't allowed, but it still happens in the form of either um, shell names. So a fishing vessel may be owned by a Senegalese um, person, but the funding um, may come from outside. So it might be a partnership, but that hides the international nature of it. Um, secondly, you have, of course, illegal and unregulated falls of fishing. Um, so there is a need for greater transparency in terms of where the financing is coming in to fund the fishing, because that gives you an idea really of who's driving the fishing pressure. Um, I think that second thing that needs to do happen is when decisions are made around new companies that might have an economic benefit, so with the fish meal factories, um, there's a need for not just the Ministry of Commerce to be involved in those decisions, but they need to take into consideration issues of nutrition and food security, issues of local markets and cultures, um, issues of uh, uh, environmental concerns alongside the economic ones. I think there are movements within the, many of these big companies to have sustainability metrics, environmental metrics, um, but I think there needs to be better connection to the um, complexity of the context where they're fishing, um, where they're having an impact, um, and greater engagement, I think, of local stakeholders in those in those processes and metrics. I, I thought it was great. I thought they were all, you know, brilliant speakers. Um, it was really interesting hearing all of their individual different stories and accounts. Um, but what was striking was how many parallels there were, even though you know, they were talking about terrestrial systems, about oil, um, complete, you know, issues that are not on my radar or are not in my world. The processes uh, that are resulting in the, 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 the inequities they described are the same processes that are happening at sea. So it was depressing that the same issues are happening elsewhere, but maybe as being made up an opportunity to work across land and sea to tackle these systemic drivers that affect all of us. So it was a great, yeah, it was great to see everyone come together, I think, and to hear their stories and hopefully maybe have some connections going forward.